all you need is a yoga mat and two yoga blocks. Let's come to the front of the mat and take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way up. You can bend the knees. Slowly roll up. Inhale. Exhale all the way down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Halfway down. Bend the knees. Extend the arms. And slowly all the way down again. Round the spine. Lift both arms up. And bring the elbows to cactus arms. Bend the elbows. Slowly rock from side to side. And open the chest. Bring the fingers together. Inhale, open. Exhale, round the spine. Touch. And open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. And raise the hands up in the air again. Interlace fingers. Slowly rock from side to side. You're just warming up. Don't push yourself too much. As much as your body allows. And hold the left wrist with the right hand. And make a big circle. Inhale halfway. Exhale complete the circle. Inhale halfway. Exhale complete. One more time. Inhale halfway. Exhale complete. Now to the other side, hold your right wrist with the left hand and pull to the left. Pull your wrist to the left. And up one more time. Inhale halfway. Exhale, complete the circle. Now make a big yawn here. You woke up in the morning and make a big yawn. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Slowly bend the knees one by one. Push the hips back. You may not be all the way down. That's okay. And lift both hands up again with an inhale. Now put the right heel forward and exhale. Inhale up, put the left heel forward and exhale. And right. Inhale and left. Inhale and right. Inhale and left. One more time. Inhale up and exhale all the way down. With both legs bent, arms go back. Inhale, exhale back. Now do it with lifting the heels up now and down. Inhale, up and down. Inhale, up and down. Up and down. Stay here. Drop the head down. Slowly put the hands on the front of the mat and step back to plank. Slowly drop the knees down, hips back, push the hips back and drop the chin and chest down. And push yourself up to cobra. Now your lower back may not allow, so just keep it simple. Slowly rock from side to side. And tuck the toes, lift the knees to down dog. We are aiming to keep the back straight. Your hamstrings, back of the legs, may not allow you to keep them straight. So just keep the back straight and bend the knees if you want. And slowly, small steps walking. Pushing the hips back. And lift the right leg up, three leg down dog. Right knee to chest, slowly round the spine, knee to chest, and step forward. You can always put blocks 
underneath the hand so that you will have more space to move. Put the knee down, lift the, both arms up, inhale. And exhale to cap, cactus arms. And put the hands on the blocks or the mat and step back to plank again. Knee, chest, chin to cobra. And tuck the toes, lift the knees to down dog. Lift the left leg up, three leg down dog. Brought the left knee to chest, round the spine, chin to chest. And step forward, knee down and inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. And put the hands again back to plank. Now we are going into Chaturanga. The shoulders are forward and bring the elbows slowly bend and push yourself up to cobra press into the palms tuck the toes lift the knees to down dog slowly rock the hips from side to side now slowly walk the hands back to the mat if you can keep the legs straight that's great slowly roll up inhale exhale halfway down and all the way down walk forward to the front of the mat back to chaturanga and cobra tuck the toes lift the knees walk back again roll up to standing inhale exhale halfway down all the way down walk to the front of the mat left leg up and chaturanga with one leg to cobra tuck the toes lift the knees walk back keep the back legs straight roll up exhale halfway down and all the way down walk to the front of the mat lift the right leg up and one leg chaturanga cobra Tuck the toes, lift the knees, and slowly back to down dog. Now we bend the knees. We either hop or step forward to the front of the mat like this, or keep your eyes forward and lift the hips up and slowly to the front of the mat. Knees are bent to chair pose. Lift the arms up. Keep the hips lower. Press the knees to one another. Bring the hands behind the head. Slowly bring the elbows close to the knees. If you can touch, that's great. Inhale up, open, lift the heels up. And exhale down, lift the heels up. Keep the back straight and down. Press the knees to one another and down. And one more time. And now, Open the legs wider, hip distance apart. Put the hands on the knees, round the spine, chin to chest. Press onto the knees, lift the head and hips back. Push the hips back. Exhale. Round the spine, chin to chest and press onto the knees and push the hips back. One more time. And stay here. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, complete the circle. One more time. And lift both hands up again. And push the hips forward. Cactus arms all the way down. Rock the hips from side to side. Slowly roll up and put the right leg forward, left leg back to crescent. Now slowly put the back leg to warrior one and warrior two. And bend forward to the front of the mat. Bend the knee a little bit more and reverse warrior keep the front knee to the 
pointing towards the front of the mat. The back leg is 45 degrees angle. Now put the right hand down and raise the left hand up. If you can gaze up, that's great. And put the left hand down, turn the back leg and lift the right arm up. And put the knee down. And if you can reach, that's great. Flex the foot so that your chest opens more. Now point the foot so you have more stretch on the front leg, front part of the left leg, quadricep. And release back to plank to chaturanga to cobra. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. We are doing it for the other part now. Left leg forward. Inhale. Crescent. Open the chest. Slowly bring the right leg back. And open the arms. Warrior two. And forward. And reverse warrior. Open the chest. Bring the left shoulder back. And slowly bring the left hand down. Gaze up. To the hand if you can turn the back leg and gaze up again now press and step back now press the heels back and forth don't drop the hips down keep your body straight you're in plank now we are going to do a chaturanga in five pulses not very uh, fast now shoulders just past the wrists now keep the um, elbows to the body and slowly lower down two one now push yourself up to cobra tuck the toes lift the knees back to plank one more time five four three two one now we are going to do a more difficult one tuck the toes lift the knees five four three two one and upward facing dog tuck the toes and down dog slowly rock the hips from side to side Bend the knees, up or step forward to the front of the mat. Bend the knees to chair pose. Bring the hands to heart and slowly twist to the left side of the mat. Now if you can extend the arm up and the other one down. And back to center, hands to heart. Exhale to the right side of the mat. Twist. And if you can extend the arms up and down, that's great. And back to center. And lift the arms up in the air. Now open the legs wider. And turn the heels in. Push the arms to the sides. Slowly bring the hips closer. The knees don't go forward. Okay, push the hips back. We slowly rock from side to side. Now reach your right ankle back to center. Inhale, exhale to the left ankle. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. And one more, put the hands on the knees. Drop the hips down, drop the head down, and turn the shoulders in one by one. And one more time, back to center. Now we are 
uh, bending the knee and leaving the left leg straight interlace fingers here uh, here and turn the toes up if you can put the hand down and stretch to the right side of the mat we are doing it on the other side slowly close to the mat go to the left side bring the hands together turn the toes up if you can bring the hand down and lift the right hand up over the head And back to center. Now we are doing it to the right and left. Right and left. Two more and left and right and left. Go back to center. Put the hands down if you can, or you can put the, you can use the blocks underneath the hands. Drop the head down. Lift halfway, keep the back straight, push the hips back. Now bend to the right and left side with the support of the hands now. And slowly turn the front of the mat, bring the left knee down, lift both hands up. And cactus arms, open the chest, back to plank. Down dog, left leg forward, right knee down, inhale up, and cactus arms, bring the hands down, back to plank. Now turn on your right side, lift the left hand up, now we are going to be a star here, lifting the left leg up, you become a star. Now slowly bend the knee and bring it back. And push yourself into your wild thing. And back to plank. Now the left leg is hovering to the right side. And lifting the right hand up. Extend the leg. If you want, you can modify it and put the leg down. But if you want to challenge yourself, lift the left leg up. And back to plank and with one leg we are into our chaturanga and cobra tuck the toes lift the knees to down dog we are going to do it for the left side we come into our side plank lifting the right hand up we become a star lifting the right leg up now bend the knee Push yourself into your wild thing. Slowly bring the right hand down, right knee to chest. Now hovers to the left side of the mat. If you can put it down or lifting it up, lift the left arm up. And without putting it down, extend the leg. Come into your chaturanga with one leg and to cobra and to child's pose slowly rock the hips from side to side now bring the hips up drop the chest down here round the spine chin to chest and drop the chest down elbows facing the sky or the ceiling wherever you are round the spine chin to chest and drop the chest down with an exhale inhale here exhale down now turn the elbows in and drop the chest close to the mat and push into your palms and lift yourself up to cobra we did it very slow Go back to child's pose again. Now, elbows up. Turn the elbows in. Chest is very close to the mat. Push yourself up to cobra. One more time. Chest down. Round elbows in. Push into your palms to cobra. Slowly rock the hips from side to side. 
Now, bring the chest down. Now we are going to push ourselves into our um, plank pose. Now, are you ready? Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Inhale, push yourself up to plank. That's great. Now, right leg, uh, right arm forward. If you can lift the left leg up, that's great. Keep the core engaged and back. Now, left arm forward, right leg up and back to Chaturanga, to Cobra, all on fours. Rock the hips from side to side. Make a circle, inhale, halfway, exhale, complete the circle. Big hips, circles, hip circles. Now reverse. Now back to child's pose. Round the spine forward, hips down. Round the spine, back to child's pose. Don't force yourself too much if you have lower back issue. Here, don't push the hips down too much. Just do as much as you can. This is your journey. You don't have to do it all the way. It's your way. So, one more time and stay here lift the right arm and left leg up inhale here exhale chin uh sorry elbow to knee and extend both inhale exhale back four five six seven eight nine and ten stay here if you can reach your ankle flex the foot so that your chest opens more pulling your chest back and back to center now lift the left arm and right leg up inhale here exhale elbow to the knee round three Exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Extend both. Now flex the foot and pull the chest back. And release. Slowly rock the hips from side to side. Now we extend the left leg to the left side of the mat. Bring the hips back and forth. Bring the hips back and forth. Now extend the leg uh, as much as you can. Now stay here. Lift the left arm up and open the chest. Inhale here, exhale. Bring the left shoulder down like you're in front of your bed and you're one, you want to grab something under the bed. Don't touch the shoulder, stay here. And back up again, inhale. Now exhale, reach. Inhale, the shoulder doesn't touch. touch. Inhale, exhale, three more, exhale, one more. Now bring the left shoulder down if you can. If you cannot, that's okay. Bring the hips a little bit back. And bring the right shoulder down now to the extended leg and lift the left arm up and back. And back to center. 
Now all on fours again. We extend the right leg to the right side. Let me show you this way so that you can see. Extend the leg as far as you can. And bring the hips down and forward. Back and forth. And one more. Now we are lift, lifting the right arm up and opening the, opening the chest. Inhale. Exhale, we reach under the bed and try to find or grab something. We stay here. Now lift the arm up. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. One more time, and if you can put the shoulder down, that's great. Push the hips back. If you can open the leg a little bit further to the right side. Now, put the left shoulder, if you can, to the extended uh, leg. And lift your right arm up. can stay in these stretching poses to 30 seconds to three minutes as much as you can if you if it feels good for your body go back to center then you can keep doing it you can lengthen its time now tuck the toes all on fours lift the knees up just a little bit over the mat slowly walk forward in front of the mat in between the arms and walk back to plank and walk forward slowly knees to chest and back to plank and forward and one more now stay here in your plank this is this seems easy but it's not now you can always modify it and bring the knees down but if you can Go to your plank and drop the chest down. Arms are straight. Now push into the palms and lift. Inhale. Exhale, push. Push. Three more. Two more. And one more. And down dog. Slowly rock the hips from side to side. Walk to the front of the mat. Bring the elbows together and slowly rock from side to side. And bend the knees. Extend the arms forward. Now we are bringing the hips over the heels. And halfway up. Exhale. Bring the hips down and up. Halfway down and up. Halfway down and up. Two more. And one more. Now bring the hips down. If you can't do this, you can always modify it by bringing the blocks underneath the heels. Like this. But if you're uh, comfortable in this position, then you can just stay here. Now. We open the legs a little bit wider, bringing the hands to heart, trying to keep the back straight here. Now lift the right heel up and down, left heel up and down. Let me show you this way, right and left. Keep your back straight. Now lift both heels up, stay here. Three, two, one, drop the heels down. Slowly bring the hips down, if you can. Now, interlace fingers again and turn the palms forward. Now, bring the left knee in and right knee in. Left and right. Two more. And bring the right knee in. Put the left leg over the right knee. And keep the back straight. Bring the hands behind the head. 
Now slowly twist to the left side of the mat. And lengthen the spine. And back to center. Now bring the left knee in. Bring the right arm over the left knee. Bring the hands behind the head. And slowly twist to the other side. Lengthening the spine. And back to center. Put the hands on your knees. Inhale, lift the chest up open. Bring the hands onto the knees. Lift the chest up open. With an inhale, exhale round the spine. Chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, open. And exhale back. And exhale back. One more. Now lift both hands up. Lift the left leg up and down. Right leg up and down. One by one. And one more. Now bend the knees, hold it tight, and press the knees to chest. Slowly roll back. And without touching the heels down, we lift ourselves up and keep the back straight here. Now we are going to do something. Now we we'll put the feet and lift up a little bit, not much. Go back. Put the feet down and lift the hips a little bit. And lift. Use your core. Just be like a ball here and lift one more time. And stay here. Slowly pulse down. Three, two, one. Bring the hips down again. Now we are going all the way. Knees to chest. Roll back. And push yourself up to standing. Roll. And put the feet down and push yourself up to standing. Roll back and up. I keep the heels very close to the hips. And up. One more time. And all the way down again. Slowly drop the hips down. I hope the microphone is working. I am not sure. Okay. Knees to chest. Right knee to chest. And one by one. Press the knee to chest. You can inhale in one, exhale in the other. Or you can inhale and exhale. Two by two or one by one and press the palms up in the sky bring the elbow uh, knees uh, closer to the armpit as much as you can we, we become like a ball here okay inhale and exhale touch if you can and touch It's very, it's a good exercise for your arm balances, for your crawl. 
and hold the big toes and slowly rock from side to side now put the feet down put the hands next to the hips slowly press the lower back down tuck the belly button in and roll up to the bridge keep the legs close to one another the legs don't open to the sides and slowly roll back now pull the knees to chest down and push yourself up to bridge bring the hips down knees to chest put the feet down and lift the hips up hips down knees to chest put the feet down hips up and continue and push and push one more and push to bridge now arms go behind the head turn the palms up slowly roll back one more time pull the belly button in and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time now interlace fingers here and push the chest forward bring the shoulders put the hands down again roll back you put the hands behind the head and bring the elbows close or if you can touch that's better to the knees open up inhale exhale bring and exhale and one more stay here if you can uh squeeze the knees with the elbows that's great now open the legs up and reach your ankles inhale back exhale reach you may not be holding the legs this straight that's okay you can always bend the knees and two more and now bring the right feet down extend the left leg forward inhale here and exhaling in three breaths we climb until we reach the ankle back again now lift the right leg up inhale exhale climb and back inhale exhale and climb to the ankle inhale and exhale climb and one more now stay here keep the back straight if you can hold the heel or knee anywhere you can and twist to the back if you can bring the right elbow down and pull the leg to the chest bring the right leg over the left knee and slowly twist back and back to center now lift the left leg up hold the heel and extend the arm back if you can gaze back that's great Bring the left elbow down, pull the knee to chest. Put the left leg over the right knee and twist back slowly. And back to center. Bring the knees to chest again. Bring the hands behind the head. Now bring the right elbow to right knee. Left elbow left knee same side same elbow
press the lower back down, draw the belly button in. Now we do it crisscross like right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. And twist and twist. Three and one, hold the knee, pull them to chest and circle out and circle. And bring the feet down lift the arms up inhale here exhale reach your ankles pull them to the hips slowly lift the hips up bring the shoulders down and lift as much as you can and slowly lower the hips down Bring the knees to chest, lift the legs up, inhale, and exhale, go back as much as you can, and slowly low, for the hips down, one vertebra at a time, and extend the legs, and if you can go to your boat pose, that's great, lift the arms forward, lift the arms over the head, Bring the feet down, bring the hands just behind the hips and lift the hips up, drop the head down and back. Back from front to the back of the mat. You don't have to keep the back hanging down. You can always lift them. Now bring the heels just below the hips and rock front and back opening our quadriceps now bring the knees down lift the hands up press the palms to one another bend the elbows interlace fingers here and lift the hands up Slowly bend to the right side of the mat and to the left side of the mat. And interlacing hands behind again, roll the shoulders back, straighten the arms, put the feet down and drop the head down, put the crown of the head and lift the head up, hands over the head. Slowly bring the hips down. Extend the arms forward. Lift the chest up. Pull the front of the mat. Bring the knees a little bit back. And slowly drop the chin and chest down. Take the left hand close to you. And drop the head to the right shoulder. and shift extend the left arm and drop the head to left shoulder extend both arms again drop the chin down now take both blocks and drop the chin down again try to keep the arms straight if you cannot Put the chin down you can always put the head down or if this doesn't work you can use a towel underneath the forehead and slowly back to child's pose we have two blocks again underneath dance if you're comfortable you don't have to use it tuck the toes lift the knees and step back in front of the mat Put the hands on the blocks and extend and flex the front leg and back drop the hips down and back 
sit and exhale. Exhale back. One, one more time. Bend the knee. Put the hands on the front knee and press into the front knee, opening up the chest. And tuck the toes, lift the knees, press the heel back and forth. And one more, drop the knee down, lift both hands up, interlace fingers, turn the palms up, open the chest. If you can bring the hands down, that's better. Put both hands down, lift the knee, and back to plank. Knee, chest, chin, shoulders touch the blocks. Push yourself up. Roll on four, stack the toes, lift the knees, and step the left leg forward, right knee down here. Inhale, exhale, extend and flex the front leg. Hips go back as much as you can. And two more. slowly bend the knee put both hands down press and lift the chest up bring the hands up interlace fingers turn the palm up and slowly bring the hands down if you can tuck the toes lift the knee press the heel back and forth Last one, put the hands down on the blocks, back to plank, knee, chest, chin, the shoulders touch. We slowly go back to our child's pose, drop the head down, slowly rock the hips from side to side. Now drop the blocks to the thinnest and bring both hands to the left side of the mat back to center drop the put the hands on the right side of the mat and drop the hips to the left and back to center Go back to all on fours, tuck the toes, lift the knees, and back to child's uh, downward dog. We slowly walk to the front of the mat. Take one block in the thinnest position and the other one in the highest position. We get over the block, if we can, and slowly Bend the knees and try to bring the heels down like we are. We can do it on the stairs too. Now drop both heels down and lift the heels up. Drop down and up. And if you can drop the heels down, if the block is very high, then it might not be possible. So if you can do it, press into the block and slowly bring the feet down, all the way down, roll up to standing, inhale. Exhale all the way down. If you can hold the big toes, half day up. All the way down. One last breath here. Inhale. And hands to heart. 
thank you for joining me in this class. Hope to see you in the next class.